Hi guys, uh, in today's lesson we are going to learn about how to bevel text in uh, Cinema 4D. So with the, without further ado, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's jump in. So uh, we have a text here, all, all you need to do is to, uh, extrude it, eh? extrude the text, yes, extrude the text to come here to um, Instance, instance is used to kind of copy the text, give an outline of the text. Okay, then you go to um, sweep now. Sweep will take what the text has copied and uh, sweep it along a spline. That is that is what you're going to do. So that is that. Make sure that. Make sure that um, uh, uh, the text instance is a child of sweep. Okay, then you go to the objects here and select profile. Profile, make sure it is that. So sure it is a uh, 10 8 10 5 eh? okay or 8 so this is what we have eh? this is what we have for the moment, I won't be able to see it properly, but uh, we can tweak some more. Five. see it now to make it now at least visible so but first of all let's try to give it some material there's no more material yes that is that you can see the extrude there it has come out looks nice but still haven't finished yet so we're going to also add some light or uh, at least make the text visible so you're going to use the sky you're going to use the sky make sure the sky is not uh, seen by the camera so we're going to use a tag called uh, cinema 4d tags compositing and tick seen by camera here then you're going to make sure that we give it a material now start its own material we give it its own material material there then we give it a HDRI link too smart too smart yes so text give it there come to HDRI link Try to find something that looks a bit nice. Then we come here to effect and we add a ambient occlusion and global illumination. So you can see how our text will pop out. You can see the reflection already. We're not done yet. So yes, looks good, but uh, I have to change the. That one looks. It looks good. Yes, you can use that one for reflection. Then we're going to create also material with the sweep. 
come here, change color, at least give it a, a green fraction, come to a black man. They just show you how to do it, you can, you, you can tweak and uh, make it better. Now we have uh, that much and uh, this way. No, that is not the right one. Color. It's a brightness. Reflectors, brightness, brightness, we're going to reduce it to that. So we're we'll going to um, give it to extrude. This one take copy, change the color, make it at least white. change the colors, give this one white, give this one something like that and try to to view it, how it will look. You have different, uh, very, very different kind of factions and uh, you can be able to tweak this one however you want. So we are going to start first of all on how to make it I change the text so we see how it will look using this one I'm good I'm good also this one yes this one looks at least good so even this, this is very versatile because you can even change the text here and nothing will uh, will uh, uh, will change no, 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 nothing will uh, have any effect because if you write now another text here you can see it has remained the same same thing nothing has changed but you can be able to sweep this one a little bit you can even put in the you can just put it in the center when you have this kind of design here you'll be able to see how it looks okay I think this one is way much better than uh, using the the other one the most common one that people use so you can see how the text looks looks nice so maybe i can even show you some other cool stuff that you can do with this text here you can come to sweep up and um, change the direction maybe here start you can start at choose to start at uh choose a start at there then ending you can end at choose you end at that have a very different and uh, in a design you've been a very few minutes so to me I think this one works this one work and uh, I'm able to do a lot of things with this one given much time and we're able to work on this one and uh, maybe animate this one something so uh, it, uh, this doesn't look bad. It looks okay. You can even come here and change. Try to change the this 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 element that is sweeping the knob. Come here, 
change for example a uh, is for example a uh, cogwheel for example come into cogwheel and uh, change this one mm -hmm. maybe make it uh, something like 10 8 7 yes Seven, 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 yes. And uh, yes, make it ten and see. Make it eight. Out of radius. Make it ten. Make it eight. Make it seven. So and then you dr drag and drop it here. You remove this profile and you have a very different kind of design again which to me looks at least you can even choose to change this will maybe to have like a different set of teeth it is too much 16 maybe make it 9 or 10 it was 20 before so you can check how it looks and you have very beautiful text. Text them to, but you can see the kind of effects you have. Mm -hmm. Maybe make it uh, come here. It was twenty. Mm -hmm. Come here and down. Try to adjust anything, radius or something. Change the radius here from ten. I have totally different thing now. Look at that. Have a look at that. Looks good. Can change it and text here. Yeah. Say like uh, cut. So uh, I think uh, this one gives you more, gives you more, more kind of kind of ways how you can work around this one. Put it inside there. Actually looks like yes. That's a look bad. So thank you guys and uh, let's meet in another video.